Good morning, everybody. This is Navish Austin, Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Narana Smarty Education Society Group of Institution from Transportation Engineering, and this is the fifth lecture. As I should know very well, this is the Unit One, Highway Development and Planning, and this is the topic Necessity of Highway Planning. So, in the present year, planning is considered as a Request before attending any development of the program. This is true for any engineering work as planning is basic thing for new project or any expansion program. And this is a good information about this. So when we are doing any kind of the work, we need to require proper planning, good commitment, everything. So that's why we can do the work in a proper condition. Highway planning is also a basic need for a highway development. Particularly, planning is of great importance when the funds available are limited, whereas the total requirement is much higher. Actually, the problem in all developing countries like India, as the best utilization of available funds has to be made in a systematic and planned way. So, without planning, we can do nothing. So, with proper planning and condition, all those things we can build a good highway. So, within that, we need to eradicate all kind of all kind of tropic conditions. The objective of highway planning are given below. So that we will discuss all these points briefly. So we plan a road network for efficient and safe tropic operation but at a minimum cost. Here the cost of construction, maintenance, and renewal of pavement layers and the vehicle operation costs are to be given due consideration. Yeah, we need to know about the cost of construction first thing and all the maintenance and after the completion of the work within our uh, within our period. So we need we need to do the renewal of the all pavement layers. Where it is damaged due to the atmospheric condition or a rainy condition. So, all these things we need to maintain or we need to renew. At that time, vehicle operation cost, we need to bear all those things within a good planning. Without a planning, we can get more and more problems. And coming to the next point. To arrive at the road system and the length of different categories of road, which could provide maximum utility for different categories within the available resource during the plan period under consideration. So we need to utilize the, we need to utility of maximum construction of the road at that particular degree. And coming to the next point, to fix up date-wise priorities for development of each road, link based on utility as the main criterion for perhaps the road development in program. We need to obey all those um, parameters here to do the work in continuously and without any disturbing. So we need to fix up day-wise work in a road network pattern in a road construction way. Then only we can get good achievement. And coming to the next one, to plan for future requirements. And improvements of roads in view of anticipated development. 
so when we are constructing a national highway we need to thought in future give uh, utilization also for example present population is around 1000 members we are constructing road for those 1000 members but coming days it will be increase 1000 to 2000 but we cannot uh, build uh, a new transportation so we will we need to construct uh, this transportation for more 2000 3000 people at that time and coming to the next two point is to work out financing system so above these all parameters we need to take into the account with a good proper planning then we can build a good transportation system in the society and we will give the good transportation system to the a human being at that time when we are constructing this transportation system we need to maintain good traffic condition after the construction of the road and when we are passing the vehicles all those things then only we can success in the construction of the highway development plan